What's up everyone? Today we're gonna to be looking at how to add a watermark to any one of your images really quickly in Photoshop. So I'm gonna show you how to add your logo as a watermark and also how to add like some text if you want to in Photoshop. It's pretty quick and pretty easy. Now, one thing you wanna make sure you have before you get started is a one color version of your logo or word mark. That could be black, that could be white, it doesn't matter, but we want it to be one color and we want it to have a transparent background. If you have some files and you're not sure how to save out the transparent background or what file type to save them out from a program like Illustrator, or if you have a logo and all you have is a white background JPEG and you can't have, you know, you don't have access to, another version of it. There's a couple of videos in the description of this one. I show you how to remove a white background. I also show you how to save out transparent logos from Illustrator. So go check those out if you need help. But I'm gonna assume you have a logo and we're gonna just open up a photo in Photoshop like this and go up to file down to place embedded and we're gonna find that logo. So for instance, it could be a PNG of the logo. We're gonna place it into our document just like that. Now you notice, this one is black, but that's okay because in this blank area of our layer on the right, if we double click it, it's gonna open up our layer styles. And one really quick way that I switch the colors is to add a color overlay, and then you can select any color that you want. So if you wanted it to be darker, you could select darker or lighter. Hit okay twice and you're back out. Now you have a white version of your logo with this color overlay effect attached. Now we can drag this logo around anywhere. We could put it in a corner, hit Command or Control T and hold Shift while you grab one of these corners to scale it down. We can just hit Enter and accept that change right there. And then we could go up to Opacity and maybe turn it down to something like 25% or if you wanted maybe like 50%, just depends on how opaque or transparent you want that logo to be. Now that's a pretty quick way if you're putting a logo on like your social media post or you just want something like a little logo bug in the corner of your image, just grab that one color version. If it's a lighter portion of the image, maybe flip it to black or if you want it to be any sort of color, you can just grab that logo if it's got a transparent background and just set the opacity, something like 50%, 25%, something like that and put it up in the corner or down in the corner wherever you want. Now another thing that you can do is instead of a logo, if you just have some text you wanna to add to this, and of course, we're getting an error, but press the T shortcut key, that's the type tool over here, and we can click anywhere on our canvas and we can type in something. I'm just gonna type watermark in here and go back to my move tool. It's a little bit small. All I have to do is press that command T or control T on my keyboard to scale this sucker up. Make sure you hold shift once again. And once it's all the way scaled up, I'm gonna hit enter or return. The next thing I wanna do is go back to that T or type tool and make sure this text is centered. That's gonna make it a little bit easier when you're working with it. Press command or control A to select your entire artboard. Make sure you're on the move tool and then you can align this piece of text to the very center by clicking these horizontal and vertical align center uh, buttons up here. Press Command or Control D to deselect everything. And now we've got this piece of text in the middle of our document. Now what you can do with that Command or Control T to transform it is you can actually rotate it. And if you hold Shift, it's gonna lock it into 15 degree increments. So for instance, this is like a 30 degree or like a 45 degree angle or whatever it is, you know what I'm talking about. We can hit Enter and then we can do the exact same thing. We can drop the opacity of this type layer down so we just add that watermark right over the top of it and you can just make it five percent so it's super subtle ten percent something around there and you've got this watermark over the top of your image now if you want and i'm going to just command or control z to return to this version if you want you can hold option or that's alt on pc and you can click and drag to create multiples of these You've seen this probably on some watermarked images before. I'm gonna hold shift and select all three of my layers over here. I'm gonna press the little folder icon, that's command or control G just to group that together. And then I can do the same thing with that layer selected, it's command or control T 
to, uh, to rotate and transform this. And you can rotate that. We can hold Shift, hold Option or Alt and do something like this as well. If you wanted to do like a multiple, um, multiple sort of like watermark effect on your image. I think that pretty much covers it. It's really easy to add this. Oh, actually, you know, to save this out, you're just gonna want to go up to File, down to Save As, and then you're gonna just save it as a JPEG or whatever your image file type is that you want, and then hit Save. So that's how you would save that out, and then if you're uploading that to your site, if you're putting that on social media, I know if you're adding a watermark, you're putting your image somewhere where the public can see it, but you don't want them to steal it, right? So wherever you're putting it, that's what you would do essentially. So really quick, really easy way. Um, you can save out, let's, let's look at that too. Like if you wanted to save this watermark and just keep putting it on other ones, you could actually just hide the photo here. So if we hide the photo, you can't really see it here, but if I bring this opacity up, you can see that we've got this watermark and we've got all these uh, transparent squares, right? That means if we save this file, it's gonna be uh, transparent in the background outside of where the text is. So if I do file save as, what we can do here is just save it as a PNG and we'll go find that folder that we had the logo. And I'm just gonna call this watermark, watermark, PNG, save that, hit okay. And then what we can do is instead of typing this text, and if we open up another photo here, we can actually do the same thing we did with the logo, go up to file, place embedded, and we can find that watermark PNG. It's a PNG so they can have that transparency. And hit place, and then it's gonna place it in here. Now, we do need to go ahead and what I would do is save it as full 100% opacity. So like don't make it transparent and then just do that in Photoshop if you want to. So you can drop that down to 10% just in case you want a little bit more or less transparency that gives you the option to edit that uh, when you bring the PNG in. So you don't have to necessarily type in that text or duplicate your logo around every single time. Once you've done it once, as long as you're bringing the watermark into other photos that are of similar size, um, you can go ahead and just place that watermark on the top of it and then tweak the transparency if you want to. Uh, the other part of this is that obviously photos are different sizes. So what you would do with that PNG is exactly what you saw us do. You would hit that command or control T and that's the transform tool. And then you can rotate that around, scale it up and down um, and really do with it what you want on top of your image. You can also play around with some of the blending options, but I think just dropping the opacity works well enough in this case. And then, yes, it could also be a color logo. As long as you have transparency, you obviously don't wanna see just some like white box that's half transparent with a logo inside of it like a JPEG would be. You really want to have some kind of transparency there on top of your photo. So if that makes any sense. Anyway, real quick tutorial on how to add watermarks in Photoshop. If you have any questions or there's other use cases that you wanna learn, hit me up in the comments down below. Maybe I'll make another video on them. Once again, I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you guys next time.